Hey, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We are gonna be covering Santa Clara here in this video. And we're just pulling down uh, into town. We're driving west uh, on Sunset Boulevard here. We're gonna be coming up on Santa Clara here in just a minute. But I figured, hey, why not just show you what it's like to drive into the city? That's something we don't usually do. I wanna show you some of the kind of the commercial area right here along Sunset Boulevard where you're gonna have your shops, your restaurants, your gas stations, stuff like that, just so you can kind of see what it actually looks like overall. Now, as we jump into this, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so there's a lot of people who watch every single one of my videos but don't end up subscribing to the channel that's something that would help me out and it's also going to help you out you're going to stay up to date on everything you need to know about st george and also if you're considering making a move here or you already live here and you want to buy or sell real estate we'd love to help you with that my information will be here on the screen and in the description box below where you can get a hold of me we'd love to help you with that so with that being said enough talking let's go ahead and jump into uh, santa clara on sunset boulevard All right guys, so you might be asking yourself, hey, why Santa Clara? Why do people wanna live here? Why is it uh, a good place to live? You know, what are the pros and cons to this particular area? And I would say that overall, Santa Clara to me kind of feels like the area where a lot of the locals live, right? This is a little bit of an older area. It's not one of the new areas um, that's seen a lot of development over the last couple of years. Like you'll find out in Washington, Washington Fields, Little Valley, um, you know, off of the Southern Parkway. This area of Santa Clara is gonna be a little bit older. A lot of it was developed in like the 1990s, uh, some even in the 80s, as well as into the 2000s. So it's a little bit of an older area, but there's a lot of people who've lived here for that long, right? These are the locals who grew up here in Utah or have lived in St. George all their life. And, you know, they've settled down and established a home here in Santa Clara. Now that actually makes it a really prime area to live because the locals must know something that maybe you don't, right? If you're not a local to the area, you might be wondering, hey, what's so great about Santa Clara? And it's just because you get awesome views out here. It gives you kind of that small town feel that you're gonna get in a lot of other cities, right? The newer parts of St. George are going to be saying, hey, uh, you know, Washington or Washington Fields or Little Valley, those areas are just so new. They're booming and there's just people everywhere and it's kind of a poor design. You don't have the big trees. You don't have the wide streets. You're kind of missing a lot of that, but that's not what you're going to find here in Santa Clara. Here, you're going to find these massive trees, just like this one overhead. And you're also going to find these wider streets. You're going to find plenty of parking. You're going to find nice little boutique shops. There's just a lot to really give here in Santa Clara. And I think that's why people absolutely love living here. So um, that's really cool. I think a lot of people really appreciate that. And that might be a reason why you're considering making a move here as well. Okay guys, so one other thing that I should mention about Santa Clara is I said earlier in the video that most of this area was kind of developed in like, you know, let's say the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, right? So most of this area is gonna be 20 to 35 years old on average. However, that being said, you can still find some brand new homes in this area. I'm gonna show you out here on the right-hand side here uh, as I kind of just drive down this back road that there is still new construction. You can still get really nice big homes that are gonna be a fit for you if you're looking for something a little bit nicer, a little bit newer, and uh, you know something of that more modern style. So let me go ahead and roll down my window here and I'll kind of show you what you can get here in Santa Clara.
Hey, really quick guys, I also wanna mention that here in Santa Clara, you do have you know some sort of a valley here that kind of comes throughout the whole area. So this is actually right there. That's the Santa Clara River that comes up here from the west in um, Ivins and then stretches all the way back into town. So um, Santa Clara River kind of does sit down here in the middle of this valley, and then you have these uh, you know, hills on both sides. So just something to kind of note there about the overall geography of the area. Now there's another thing that you're gonna notice about Santa Clara and that's that there's kind of a lot of like horse property and just um, general farmland that's still here in the area. So you'll find areas like this right here where it's basically just a big open field, right? Nothing to kind of look at, but that actually provides a lot of big lots here in the area and you get homes that sit on, you know, a half an acre or a full acre. It's much more common to see that here in Santa Clara than you might see it in other areas. And that's something that people really like. So if you want a little bit of privacy, if you want some space, but you still want that kind of quiet small town feel, if you will, this could be a great area to really consider um, for, you know, purchasing a home. As you get outside of, uh, you know, kind of the downtown Santa Clara area, if you will, right off of Sunset Boulevard and Santa Clara Road, you're gonna get into areas like this that are a little bit further out that actually have some homes that are not, you know, that older styled home. These homes are gonna be, you know, the 2000s, 2010 for the most part. There's a wide variety here and, um, you know, there's something for everybody. So now, if you're looking for single family home here, you're probably, you know, depending on the age and how big the home is, you're gonna be spending anywhere from about 500,000 to a million for most homes. Uh, that sweet spot is probably going to be about six maybe seven hundred thousand and if you're looking for luxury you can definitely find it out there you're probably looking at about a million dollars for something um, in that range out here in this area it doesn't vary much from city to city um, you know because honestly it's so close together that you know if somebody says hey my budget's a million dollars they can kind of like live and choose wherever they want um, and it's not like there's one ex super exclusive part of town over another right of course there's gonna be nicer areas and less nice areas but for the most part it's generally pretty um, even across the board as far as housing is concerned but at the end of the day it always comes down to the same couple of things it's gonna be how old the home is or how new it is how big it is and what area it's located in as well as what size of lot is it on and the features inside of um, the home itself so those are kind of the main things that always drive price no matter what and uh, yeah enough of that let me show you some of these houses There also are some areas here in uh, Santa Clara that are new and seeing some growth, right? Uh, we're out here kind of on the border of, you know, the Ivans and Santa Clara edge, right? So we're, we're on the, I guess you'd say Western edge of Santa Clara, uh, getting pretty close to Ivans. And there's actually quite a bit of new development out here. I'm gonna show you this here in just a second, as soon as we can make a, a turn here on this road. And I'm gonna show you, you know, some of the new stores that you've got here, here we go. there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed this tour on santa clara i hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit about what it's like to live um, here in this area what it actually looks like what the streets look like the you know landscaping um, the shrubbery everything like that so if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing when it comes to living here in st george and also if you're looking to buy or sell real estate here in southern utah i'd love to be your trusted real estate resource i'd love to help you through that process so reach out to me my information is here on the screen and 
it will be in the description box below so you can get in touch with me. I absolutely love hearing from people. We've had people from all across the world and hundreds of people here locally reach out to uh, myself and my team asking us to help you through that process. So if you're in that same boat, we'd love to help you. Make sure to reach out to me and um, let's show you some more houses as we sign off.